The Early Romantic Era The Romantic Era emphasized the beauty of nature and emotions such as apprehension, horror, and awe. These broad concepts were able to coexist because the Romantic Era was extremely diverse. The primary goal of the composers of the Romantic Era was to express emotion and to spark the listener's imagination. In the Romantic Era, dynamics were more clearly indicated in written music than in previous eras. In contrast with the Classical Era, distinction between loud and soft was used to convey expression. Also, the music of the Romantic Era was written for both the upper and middle classes. During the Romantic Era, various new forms of music began to appear, such as symphonic poems, sonatas, and impromptus. An impromptu is a free-form musical composition that took height in the early Romantic Era. Schumann was especially famous for his impromptu, Opus No. 5. The Industrial Revolution had a huge impact on the early Romantic Era. There were major improvements in mechanical valves and keys on most women and brass instruments. These innovations allowed for easier playing and more reliable instruments. Piano making flourished during the Romantic Era. Pianos were the most popular household instruments during this time period. Musicians of the Romantic Era aimed to have a thick timber. A thick timber is built from the use of chromaticism and dissonance. Composers doubled orchestra parts and used brass instruments to fill in the sound. Chromaticism is a progression by half steps, such as A to B flat to B to C. Dissonance is a lack of harmony among musical notes. Prior to the Romantic Era, these devices were not commonly seen in music because the technology did not allow for such advances. Robert Schumann, born June 8, 1810, was a German composer who is often referred to as the master of counterpoint. Counterpoint is a term that describes the relationship between two polyphonic voices when they have independent rhythms and contours. Schumann's interest in music was sparked at a young age when he saw a performance of Ignaz Moscheles. Shortly after, Schumann fell into a deep depression due to his father's death when he was 16 and his family denounced his music career. However, Schumann persevered and continued to take piano lessons with Frederick Wieck. Schumann built a relationship with Wieck's only daughter, Clara, and eventually married her in 1837. Clara is considered one of the most distinguished female pianists of the Romantic Era and held a 61-year concert career. Schumann is famous for writing various Lieder, or German songs. The one playing, Die Kehr Lebe, A Poet's Love, is Schumann's most well-known song cycle. Schumann was diagnosed with psychotic mel melancholia after he attempted suicide in 1854 and was admitted to a mental asylum. Schumann died from syphilis at the age of 46 two years later. Johannes Brahms, born May 7, 1833, was a German composer and pianist who wrote symphonies, chamber music, and choral compositions. Brahms was influenced to play piano by his father, who was a double bassist in the Hamburg Philharmonic Society. By his teenage years, Brahms was already a successful musician. He played on docks and in local inns to ease his family's tight financial situation. Clara Schumann took young Brahms under her wing and collaborated to premiere his piece, Variations and Fugue, on a theme by Handel. After Robert died in 1856, Brahms and Clara remained friendly. Brahms moved to Vienna in early 1860s to conduct the Singa Kadimi Choral Group. Brahms is often remembered for his collection of lullabies titled Wieglende, Guten Abend, Gute Nacht. Today, variations of these lullabies are played on baby mobiles around the world. Brahms died in the spring of 1897 after a long battle with liver cancer and was buried in Vienna. Caspar David Frederick, a German painter, illustrated Moonrise Over the Sea in 1822. This piece depicts a romantic sea scene overlooking the Baltic Sea. It captures the essence of the Romantic era by utilizing somber colors to express tranquility. Frederick also composed Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog in 1824. Like Moonrise Over the Sea, Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog captures emotion with a figure looking out into nature. The death of Sardanapalus by Eugene Delacroix captures the more morbid and sexual nature of Romanticism. The various naked characters symbolize vulnerability of the art of this era because the art of the Romantic era is extremely exaggerated.